Welcome back to our channel, where we simplify complex accounting standards and regulations. In today's video, we will be diving into ASC 718, which covers compensation, retirement benefits. We understand that this standard can be quite challenging, so we're here to break it down into easy-to-understand terms. Let's get started. ASC 718, or Accounting Standards Codification 718, provides guidance on how companies should account for stock-based compensation plans, including stock options, restricted stock units, RSUs, and other equity-based awards granted to employees. To better understand ASC 718, let's familiarize ourselves with some key terms. Stock options. These are financial instruments that give employees the right to purchase a specified number of company shares at a predetermined price, known as the exercise or strike price. Restricted stock units, RSUs. RSUs represent a promise to issue company shares to employees at a future date, subject to certain vesting conditions. ASC 718 requires companies to recognize compensation expense related to stock-based compensation plans. The expense should be based on the fair value of the equity awards on the grant date. Example, let's say Company X grants 1,000 stock options to an employee on January 1, 2023. The fair value of each option is determined to be $10 on that date. The total compensation expense recognized over the vesting period will be $10,000, $10 per option times 1,000 options. Vesting refers to the period over which employees become entitled to exercise their stock options or receive their RSUs. Companies must recognize the compensation expense over the vesting period. For example, Company X grants RSUs to an employee that vest over a three-year period. The fair value of each RSU is $50 on the grant date. To calculate the compensation expense, we divide the total fair value, $50 times number of RSUs, by the vesting period three years. ASC 718 also provides guidance on the modification or settlement of stock-based compensation awards. Any changes to the terms or conditions of these awards are generally accounted for as modifications and may result in additional compensation expense. For example, if Company X grants stock options to an employee but later modifies the terms, such as changing the exercise price or the number of options, the modification is accounted for as an additional expense. ASC 718 requires companies to disclose information about their stock-based compensation plans in their financial statements. This includes the method used to determine fair value, the assumptions made, and the total compensation expense recognized. And there you have it. A simplified guide to ASC 718. Compensation. Retirement benefits. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more simplified accounting guides. Thank you for watching.